Yo, so what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. So between this video and the last video, we had Leagues. Leagues is still out. I've, I've just been playing that a lot. A uh, bit bored of it now though, and I kind of wanted to return to this RuneScape 3 account. So I, the last video I, ha I actually had from before Leagues, I just held on to it so that when I come back to the game, I could upload it and then get back to playing. Uh, so there wouldn't be a gap between the last one and this one. That would be too big. Uh, but between that video and now, we've just done a little bit of Necro, did a bunch of rituals, and I've been AFK and training a little bit, and we're up to 85. Um, I should have the wall to be able to finish my armor now as well. Because um, we got we currently got tier 80 weapons, tier 70 body and legs, and the other ones are tier 60. Um, but if we do upgrade them, we do get the set effect, which is a dodge chance. It's pretty nice, kind of like the War Priest, Sammy War Priest set effect. It's very tanky. Uh, at the moment, it's just 2%. So if we get the full set, we'll go do that now. I was just waiting on the walls, um, but the sheep should be done now. So let's do it. Okay, so that is the rest of my armor up to tier 70. Uh, the mask looks a tiny bit different. There was other like subtle changes every time you do it up. But what is the dodge chance now? Um, set bonus 1. So does that mean... That you get 6 or 5%. It's either 6 or 5%. I don't know if it's adding, like, um, an extra 1% for the set bonus. But it's probably, yeah, it's 5 or 6. I don't know which. <laughs> um, but all tier 70 now on the armor. To upgrade the armor further, we need subsegation. Um, but it's not worth doing until we hit level 99. Because of multipliers, you actually need less subsegation. So I think, like, boss-wise at the minute, what I really need to be doing is Zami for comps in general um and what i could do is if i get body or legs of uh, subsegation from zami um we can keep them and then it, ideally we need like glove the gloves boots and hats we could then turn into the stuff needed to upgrade this armor it just depends on how many drops we get uh, i still need to do like more vindi anyway for components and i haven't finished the log yet either i think i just need like the two pets and might because i've got i've got dragon slayer on here haven't i it might even be worth doing like ed2 because i still have like no ed2 drops either for the melee abilities okay so i've been looking over some of my comments on previous videos and a couple of the other ones i did and i keep just hearing about it i just keep hearing the fort the fort the fort the fort i have literally no idea what it is but apparently it's like a big construction and wood cutting somehow um update which is kind of interesting like when was the last time woodcutting and construction had an update um especially in this game i think the newest thing's pretty like fucking hidey holes uh we just got ourselves um 87 necromancy but apparently you like build your own like town or i guess fort that's probably why it's called that thinking about it and saying it out loud um not really sure what the rewards are but apparently it's like some of the best places to skill i don't know if it gives like passive buffs or something but yeah anyway rather than just making guesses why don't we check it out i'm getting a bit bored of just afk necromancy anyway but yeah um uh yeah i don't, I don't know where it is but i guess i'll look it up i'm sure i'm hoping that's an option it says 20 planks 20 protein pl where the fuck am i gonna get a protein planks from uh yeah, it's, fuck it's a lot of limestone bricks um maybe i just have them in the bank or i actually i think there's a shop you can buy them from actually um in the like dwarven place underground uh yeah we got to do a quest to get this stuff going oh long oh bro fuck my life bro imagine they added an update like this to old school and i don't even mean like this i mean just the fact they've removed the sawmill would <laughs> send a fucking old school player into a, a, the fucking panic induced coma uh, it's kind of weird, though, that the uh, thing's not here anymore. Uh, but now we have this this town. That, I mean, it's just foundations at the minute. Uh, oh. <laughs> that wasn't even a pun on the quest. Um, I guess the quest is accurate. Um, I see a lot of quest icons. Uh, maybe it's like a quest series thing, but... Uh, a lot of people here. There's a bank chest. Whatever the fuck that is. Uh, but I guess this place will transform and we'll build it. It's, it's very nice to see the construction skill, like, implemented into the game. I'm hoping, yeah, there's more to it than just putting some fucking planks and limestone bricks down. Um, I'm going to take a guess now that, like... So, construction on old school, as you know, it's so important. But the thing is, right, is like that's all new in old school, the amazing things like the pool and that that you can drink from. 
But the thing is, all the benefits of the uh, house in old school, all that shit like already exists in RuneScape 3, just not in the construction scale. For example, like Wars of Tree and so on, like easy to teleport around to bosses and that. So I'm, I'm hoping this is like the RS3 version of that, but they're going to have to take a different route because all the things you get from construction also already exists in RuneScape 3. So, yeah, let's see how they've done with the RuneScape 3 version of a, uh, what's the word, like an expansion to the construction skill. I, I don't know how this is going to include wood kind at this point, though. All right, perfect. You can buy the limestone bricks from this shop. Oh, I'm going to have to do an inventory, though. Ooh. All right, time to, time to bring up my old friend Fraxu for this one. Oh, my God. The quest guide is over an hour. Over an hour for the first quest. Oh. Bro, what in the fuck is this? Is this like a, a modern way to start a quest? <laughs> Rather than just having a quest icon on your map. You, you have a full on fucking quest thing. What the fuck is this? Is this consistent in the game? Because I've never seen it before. But yeah. Kingdoms. We have suffered. Oh, modern cutscenes. I quite enjoy these. I, they're, they're obviously like low resource to make. But they're, they're quite good. Forces ready for the attack. The kingdom of Mistalin stands at the forefront. Yeah, no, not gonna lie, this is uh, this is pretty hype. So basically, we're gonna become a duchy in the area. So it's literally they put a lot of emphasis on you own this place. It's gonna be your place. So eventually, who needs player-owned houses when you can have player-owned fucking town? So this is like accessible to new accounts pretty much. As long as you can kill level 21s, there's no requirements at all. So if this place is any good, maybe it's worth doing like straight away on a fresh account. Bro, what the actual fuck? They've added magic planks, yew planks, maple planks. Oh, we already had oak. And normal willow planks. Elder planks. What the fuck, man? I guess, I guess the skill's living up to its name now. Oh, uh, wait, you actually make the planks yourselves. Does that mean you don't have to pay? That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, it's actually construction. You're constructing things. <laughs> Rather than, I, I mean, the skill beforehand, you don't really build the rooms. You sort of pay to have the rooms added, and you furnish them. So it's more of a um, carpentry skill beforehand. I guess this definitely fits the name a bit better. Um, we've got to, like, make planks to then make frames. So yeah, definitely more of a construction thing. And then I think we use this to make walls, basically, from limestone bricks. And then what is this? Check plans. Okay, that's how we, yeah, we then use the stuff to make the actual building. Oh, damn, you can actually make your own planks <laughs> without any money. I guess the trade-off is it just takes longer, but that's really good for low level. Okay, something that's uh, really, really irritating is I'm watching a quest guide and Frax is using this bank chest. For me, it just don't work. Like, I don't know why, that if it's bugged. Nothing. No bank chest for me, I guess. Okay, what have we got so far? Archaeology bench. Oh, so you can do... Has it got the storage as well? Yeah, so you can do archaeology here. Inventor's bench. So you can do all your invention stuff here as well. Uh, and smithing. Uh, imagine it's only good once you've got the smithing outfit though. Falador's still viable um, until you've unlocked everything from there. And then like post-99 sort of thing here is pretty good. Um, and this is just one building and it looks like these have tiers as well. So I don't know if it adds new stuff or... Actually, it's really scary. It probably adds like passive effects or something. Um, I've got all these other buildings. Is this going to just be like a, a hub for everything? Right? It's just going to condense the game down into your own little fault. I guess it's kind of what the player-owned house does, really, but just for combat. Maybe it's like a, a skilling version. All right, so time to get started on the walls. This place looks rather flat, and it's just got one building. So uh, should look completely different once we're done. Okay, that is all the walls built, looking much better. I'm assuming this has got to be like the end of the quest as well. Uh, there's like five quests. Um, yeah, so I don't know if they're all just like building as part of the quest or whatever, but... The wall missing them for a sec. Oh, there we go. Quest complete. Let's get some of these buildings in. I'm really intrigued to know what's inside of them because that is like kind of nuts that you get the inventor's bench and the archaeology bench. Just bench city in there, really. 
Um, I'm assuming that's cooking, because you see a guy cooking in there. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure what will be in some of these buildings, though. Make sure we get the lodestone built as well. Is this going to be one that takes, like, fucking ten years for no reason? Yep. But yeah, there will be a lodestone here. <laughs> okay, so we got our next building built, which is the town hall. And I was just chatting to this dude, and apparently get rested XP. It's not as broken as it sounds, because it's one XP every 15 minutes. 4 XP an hour when you're not playing. <laughs> um, unless they're like credits or something. Um, I guess it's similar to the only thing I can think of with rest of XP is World of Warcraft when you log out. Um, but it's, it sounds so minuscule. Like, I don't really see the point. I guess it's, it's a cool idea at least. Uh, but I think this is like our yeah, town hall and then maybe our bedrooms upstairs or something. But it's coming along. It's starting to look nice. Let's get these other buildings built. Okay, so just upgraded this room. I was wondering if it was actually going to change appearance, but it looks like it did. Yes, it had a wooden roof before where I took a screenshot. Yeah, this bit was broken, so that's like more fixed now. Uh, I don't think there was a back wall either. Apparently, yes, manage invention machines. There used to be a box here. Oh my god, alchemizer? Holy shit, okay, that's really nice that that's added in, so you don't even, you literally don't even have to ever go there. You can just manage your machines from here. You can actually manage the, uh, you need charge, you can actually charge it up from here as well. Uh, so another thing I figured out as well is if you want to know what a building does, you can just talk to this guy, or any guy who's at the building, and then you say, what does this building do for me, basically? And he just says, what you can do here, he says that tier one, you get the experience for the blueprints, basically building the house. I, I've realized that that's actually repeatable and you can do it as a training method, like make the planks, make the, uh, was it found, not foundations, frames. And then it's, it's a, you've got more options basically for construction. So construction's usually very click intensive or with the same style of mining is you then have a semi AFK option where you click the glowing stuff. Uh, the foundations that glow, or you can have a full AFK option, get less XP and just completely AFK on one of the things, which is nice to have that option for construction, Jesus Christ. Uh, construction's been like the worst skill for me, that's why it's still not 99, it's 98. And we've gained over 100k XP so far, just from this fucking quest. Um, but yeah, anyway, so as you level up, you get more XP, so now this build building is tier 2, I have access to the invention machines, and 10% more increased XP if I do the blueprints. And then if we upgrade it again, we get a buff to power storage. We can actually store more power. This is like 25%. And the blueprints go to 15%. So that's pretty much what the workshop does. Okay, so got this building built. This has Anacronia table. Okay, so you can manage all of Anacronia from here, which I've already completed other than this i think that's locked behind a quest um miscellaneous okay that's way nice so you don't have to travel there uh check approvement rating 100 percent. okay that should <laughs> is it like permanently 100 percent now uh what's it on well i actually need some maples at the minute because i've run out um grab them we'll grab some herbs it's full of cash as well i'm so confused <laughs> i don't i haven't been there in so long Let's just collect it. Ooh. 100 Ranars. Uh, the maples I needed to make some of the foundations for this place. Bunch of bird's nests. Am I even going to be able to bank all this? I don't think I've got the bank space. Ah, that's trash anyway. Let's drop that. Um, and what else do we have? Manage resource note. Oh, okay, so you can do some of the archaeology stuff from here as well. Just all your table, table management. Ah, oh, ports. Sorry, I got a fucking hiccup. Um, can manage ports and send boats. Same as that little booklet. That's pretty cool, though, because that's, like, your main sort of, like, sim, like, pre-versions of this. You know, miscellanea, you own a kingdom. Ports, you run a port. Um, Anachronia, you sort of run that base camp. And then I guess you run your researches as well. So it's kind of condensed them and made them a part of this. Uh, having the miscellanea table is pretty nice because I, I fucking never do that. It's just so much ag to get there. I mean, it isn't, but it is at the same time. If, if it's, like, here, though, I'm definitely way more likely to get it. I can't remember if I explain what this does either. You've got a bank here, gilded altar, 
and the higher tier it is the more xp you get so uh, this is tier one so you get uh like 250 percent and then if it's tier three you get like 350 percent also looks like you can customize it i'm assuming you can pick the god or something but it won't let me do it until i upgrade it so we've got that tier one that tier one the rested xp place tier one uh the workshop tier three and then the kitchen, I believe, is what we unlock when we do the next quest. And I have no idea what this building is at the minute. Um, also, I saw this guy. You can actually decorate. So it's winter, so I can make it winter in here. Which is pretty cool. I guess a bit better. And if I want, I can add the Christmas decorations. I'm assuming it had Halloween as an option. So maybe during Halloween, you was able to do that. Yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, join this update so far. So, I don't explain what... Yeah, I looked it up. This one, um, it adds just some buffs and perks to miscellaneous and ports. It helps your success rate and things like that. Um, yeah, I think I've covered pretty much everything so far. But let's do the next quest. Bro, what is this quest? The fucking Twitter bio. Why do you need pronouns in the... Bro, I've managed to survive every other quest in RuneScape without in bracket fucking pronouns. <laughs> what, what? Okay, there's the quest done. Pretty good one. It was uh, it's kind of long with the murder mystery stuff, but the dialogue was really good. I mean, it's a modern quest. They usually are pretty good. We got two lamps here. 8K construction. Uh, oh, I don't even know what to put it in. Uh, I think it's pretty smart choice. Only 3K. And there. And now we have the kitchen, which is the bank is there. You cook there. It's like right next to each other. And when this is like fully upgraded, it gives you like buffs to cooking. It helps with burning, which obviously isn't a problem for me. I'm over 99, but it does give you like XP boost as well. So it is the new best place to cook. Oh, well, I definitely really appreciate this update because construction just does my head in. I was at the point where I just do it with monthlies and dailies. Uh, it's a nice change of pace or even just an excuse to get a million construction XP, which we've just done. And, you know, it's really helped me get to uh, 99 construction, which is uh, nice to have done. Um, I think, uh, no, I have no idea what the cape perk does actually, but if we look at our skills, another flashy 99, nice. Oh, and the command center tier three actually needs this. Pretty cool. Um, yeah, that leaves just three skills left. Holy shit. Uh, let's pop this bad boy on. Very nice. First time I've had this on any account, I believe. What does the perk do? Um, <laughs> chance to save blanks. Uh, it's a bit lame, isn't it? Bit dead, bit outdated. Maybe they should have, like, like, uh, added something to do with the fort, maybe, like, while they were at it. But, I mean, saving plank is still cool, like, if you're going to be hammering through loads of planks. I wonder if it applies to the new planks, and, uh, yeah, it might actually, when you're actually doing the stuff there. If anyone knows, drop a comment. Oh, mate, finally going to be done with the worst fucking skill in the game, and it's, like, ten times worse on RuneScape 3 than old school. <laughs> oh, it's over. Just two skills left. 97 runecrafting and 87 necromancy. Oh, I better go turn off the dailies for that. I'm so glad that is over. Oh, it's so horrible. Somebody just literally thought um, I was bug abusing. Because I've just got two 99s in a, within a couple of hours. Uh, obviously, you guys can see they're very close together. But... Um, uh, I mean, like, they're very close anyway, but apparently there's a jack-of-trades bug right now, um, which makes it... Let's turn this off, yeah. Uh, which basically makes it so you can just keep doing jack-of-trades over and over and over, but, bro, I don't even want to do it once. Once a day, let alone repetitively. All right, so we decided to come back to necromancy since getting the 99, and we are currently... Oh, we just hit base 90s as well. That should pop up. Yep. We're currently 9, 10, 11 levels away from max, basic max. Um, I personally don't see that as max. I mean, I think feel like it's just there for nostalgia purposes. But obviously, this skill goes 120. A bunch of different skills go 120. Um, that does exist in the game. Uh, there's a cape for 120 all. Uh, but obviously that includes virtual levels. Uh, but there's an achievement for getting all the skills that go to 120 to 120. And what they need is... Uh, that's locked behind... Um, it's a requirement for comp cape. 
So if you see someone in a max cape, they still have, you know, skills that can go to 120. Uh, but a comp cape is essentially like the true max cape, even though it does need other things as well. But yeah, so 90 unlocks a bunch of stuff. Obviously, we can get our tier 90 weapons. Probably got to do a bunch of shit for that. Uh, death dealer robes. Uh, another quest. I, I think it's another boss as well, maybe. I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, loads more gifts, ritual side gets bigger, so that means we can use more multipliers and stuff. Yeah, just a bunch of content unlocked at 90 now. Oh, bro, the list. The list to get tier 90s is a fucking blueberry pie. I don't, that don't even exist. There's got to be a special way to make it. It says talk to inhabitants. Um, I'm assuming 10 kills on every God Wars 2 boss. And a pulsating onyx, which basically means I need to have an onyx and do jad like the old school jad uh and do a reaper task with necromancy a fucking long list for 1090s oh my god <laughs> shows how long i haven't done jad for that's a pb of nine minutes uh bro did i not get craft oh i thought i didn't get it for a sec Oh, thank God. I thought, like, because of the cape. It said you needed uh, extra inventory space. I thought because the cape took it that I didn't get it. But, okay, that's one of, like, a bazillion things done. Okay, this was the most ridiculous round the house way to get a weapon. But we finally, after doing every piece of fucking content in this game, um, do we... Oh, I didn't know about the rune cost. Hopefully we have enough uh, runes. I think it's 50 of each. We should be fine. But tier 90 is coming in. Come on. Yes. Okay, we're good. Oh my god, that was just like the weirdest way to get a tier 90, just around the house doing all sorts of chores. Motherfucker had me doing archaeology and a little mini quest and all sorts. Oh wow, that glove looks way better now. Does it look like in the light? I can't really see here, but um, yeah, tier 90's done, man. Okay, yeah, the glove, the glove looks fucking dope now. Um, I really want to upgrade the armor, but we really need to get 99 first. Uh, at this point, I think you just do rituals to 99, so, um, I obviously, I don't want to just do necromancy the whole time as well, breaking it up and doing the fort thing made this, like, so much more bearable, like, before when I used to, like, try and get videos out as a job, I would have stuck with necromancy, probably got burnt out, so I'd hate my life, uh, but where I mix it up by doing some other content, and there's also, there's a million things I still need to do on this account, like, if we look at quests, like, I still have fucking loads of quests to do, uh, I've barely done any of the new ones, uh, other than the ones for necromancy and the fort we sort of like made an exception for because they look cool uh, But yeah, we are wait, 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 can I get that now? Oh, no, I can't okay. We'll push start next video with uh, <laughs> we're literally handing in a daily away from uh, 98 rune crafting and then we just need nine necromancy levels for uh, Max, but yeah, we might as well just end it here. Thanks for watching guys and yeah catch you in the next one Ride or die, I keep boys by my side. CJ Ack, now I gotta roll with ice. Cold, these brothers, my guys, know that they fly, know that they ride or die. I keep boys by my side.